Thursday. Thursday. Happy Thursday, my friends. <coughs> I'm on my way into town because earlier I had to take my mother-in-law to the dentist. I know. Again, I'll fucking know, girl. <laughs> she, okay, so the first time I took her to the dentist, she got fillings. The second time I took her to the dentist, she got a root canal. This time I took her to the dentist, this is all within like a week or two. Uh, this time I took her to the dentist because where she had gotten her fillings, why is my camera mount so jibbly, jobbly, wobbly? I don't know. Um, this time, I take her to the dentist and it's because her fillings were hurting. She kept bitching, ever since she's got it done, she kept bitching that her fillings were hurting. And I said, um, are you taking your antibiotics? And like after the third or fourth day, and she's like, oh, I never got those filled. I said, you gotta take your fucking antibiotics. <laughs> it's probably infected or something, you know? You probably have an infection. So she got the antibiotics filled. I said, take the antibiotics, wait a few days and then see if it still hurts. So she got him filled. Um, God, there's a lot of garage sales out right now. Anyway, she got him filled, uh, took him for a few days while very haphazardly, I'm assuming, because she, a couple days later, was bitching that they were so hurting, and I said, have you been taking your antibiotics? And she's like, well, I took a couple of them. You have to take them every day as prescribed. <laughs> so I reiterated that to her, and so she started taking them as prescribed, but it was still hurting. So I take her back to the dentist today. Dennis said that her bite was a little off. I don't know what that means. She grinded something, did fucking something. I don't know. She said if it doesn't get better, she's going to have to just pull the tooth out and say fuck it. And, you know, get like a, if she wants to get an implant or whatever. But like you guys give it, who gives a fuck? Who cares about my mother-in-law's fucking teeth? Probably not you. <laughs> but anyways, have you guys... Oh my god, you guys. Okay, so yesterday I filmed all day long. I filmed my haul. I, uh, it's such... Yesterday was like bus, yo. I filmed my haul, um, which obviously went up without a hitch. Um, and then I filmed a review for the Becca Skin Love Foundation. And so... <laughs> I filmed that review, right? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking do check-ins. I'm gonna come back, do check-ins, and show you guys what it looks like. And then what happened was, um, my mother-in-law, her, something had, okay, so she had, like, spouting and stuff put on her house, and her, they, I don't know, dislocated her, um, satellite, she has satellite internet, or satellite cable. Um, they had done something, like, you know, shifted her satellite or something, her cable wasn't working. She was a freaking the fuck out. <laughs> it was like this whole ordeal because she was like, oh my God, I'm going to miss Big Brother. Like, she was very upset about the fact she was going to miss Big Brother. So, Tim was like, there's, you know, we can't do anything about it, you know? Like, they're not going to come out and do anything today because it was like past um, business hours and whatever else. And, uh... So he's like, just come down here and stay and watch our house. We have three fucking TVs, railroad. I'm sure you can find a TV to watch it on at our house, right? So she did. She came and stayed with us. Because he's like, Nikki has to take you to the dentist in the morning anyway. So she came and stayed with us. Um, so I couldn't film Cheka. And then I had filmed a uh, something that I've never done before. Jesus, all these cars, where are they coming from? something I've never done before. I was like, I want to film a video about this whole, like, Laura Lee, Gabriel Zamora, Nikita Dragon, Manny MUA, like, all this shit, right? And this, mind you, was before Manny's, um, whatever the fuck that was, apology video. Uh, and so I sat down and I filmed it, and then I was reading through my comments, and, and, it, and I was going to upload it yesterday because obviously when you film videos like that like they still have to be relevant so I was like this is the video I'm going to upload but then I thought no I'm not going to upload this today because that I don't want bad juju I am in the process of buying a house I don't want like any type of negative energy like affecting that so I didn't upload that I uploaded my haul instead well then I seen a comment on my haul of somebody saying I'm so glad 
that I have your videos to watch because with all this drama bullshit going on in the beauty community, your videos are like a breath of fresh air because the negativity right now is so fucking heavy and I'm like, you're right, I'm not going to do that. And even today, I thought that was Tim, even today I like contemplated doing it because I don't know, I just had... I was like a fill in some type of way about Manny's video just because of the body language uh, from his video and I'm like why is nobody discussing the fact that you know everybody's saying like oh it's fake ass quality and bug ass quality whatever but nobody's discussing like the actual physical body language perceived when he was making that making that video um, he's like just very like tight and angry and I don't know it just like I I think I'll, I feel like I'm a good reader people I can read people pretty well and just by some of his motions and his whole demeanor throughout the video was just like very negative and I what the impression that I got was kind of a, a forceful uh, video like it was almost forced like he was forcing himself to do it you know what I mean and I thought about making a video about that, and I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that, girl. I'm keeping it all, ding, 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 all positive energy, all positive energy. Um, yesterday, how snooze. We haven't gotten our appraisal back yet. The bank wanted a, because I got an inheritance for my grandpa, which I told you guys about. The bank wanted um, some type of affidavit saying that I got an inheritance and deposited it, just so... I guess because they said something about money laundering just to make sure there was no money laundering going on like within Tim's business so I had to write up an affidavit and sign it and then I had to also make an affidavit stating that you know Tim has access to those funds or whatever we had to turn that into the bank so Tim's um oh what's it called what's that called his accountant his accountant has to um make like a I, I guess I don't know what it is like some kind of a proposal of what you know their funds are and the business and everything else and you know just showing that their business has been in the positive and yada 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 so uh we are going through that I'm still on the up and up I'm still so excited I wish we could get in right now I'm actually did I already say that I was in my on my way I'm on my way in town because I don't think I finished that. Maybe I did. I'm going to work to get boxes. Did I even say that? But I'm on my way in town. I forgot. I, I thought I'm just going to stop at work and get my boxes and stuff that I got put back. Also, um, Tim wanted some Halo Top me and Aiden while we took his grandma to the dentist, came and got the rest of his school supplies and stuff. And uh, Tim called me and was like, will you bring me some Halo Top home? And I fucking forgot, which is, you know, standard for me. I always forget everything. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so that's that's just what I'm doing today, y'all. That's what I'm doing today on my way to the altar. And then when I'm done at the altar, I'm going to go to the bars. Oh, dude, remember how I told you guys um, about... Tim like doing his company doing work for Whirlpool and him talking to the guy and the guy's like yeah I can get you a discount dude it's like a 40% discount so we may or may not get all fucking new appliances for our house and I'm like you know I, I, I'm not a very like brand savvy person like I don't give a fuck what the brand says that's not me that's not who I am girl that's usually why you don't see me like sporting designer shit I love fashion I love designers I love all that but I in the area that I'm in it's not I got a few I have some qualms with um by the way it's called qualms not qualms like I'm just if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I'll talk about my video where he said quelms. He has no quelms about Jeffrey. Anyways, that just, I don't know why that stuck out in my head. I was like, um, that's not how you say that. Anyways, who's beeping at me? Somebody's beeping and waving at me. So, um, what was I talking about? I totally forgot what I was talking about. What was I just getting ready to say? Oh yeah, the whirlpool thing. 
So I'm not like super, you know, brand person. I love fashion. I love, you know, all that stuff. I love designers. I love designer things. But the way that I feel about it is a lot of people, um, the majority of people wear that stuff just almost like in a sense to kind of show off. There's not a lot of people that wear fashion, that wear designer clothes because they like the fashion aspect of it. They wear it because it's it shows that you have money. You know what I mean? That aspect of it, I am not about. Um, I do love very timeless uh, fashion articles that, you know, go like the Gucci belt. The Gigi Gucci belt is like a timeless fashion article that you can use for years to come. The Chanel large flap is like a staple, very you know, timeless article. Um, and I'm not shading anybody that does, you know, buy that shit. Girl, if you got the money, fuck a rocket. Maybe one day when I got the money, it, it, I'll have so much money, I don't know what to do with. One of these days, I will, putting that out to the world. <laughs> one of these days, I have so much money, I won't know what to do with it, so I'll just fucking buy all designer. So, um, me and Tim were talking about that one day. We were like, when you're like so rich, what do you do? when you bought everything that you want. I said, go designer. Everybody buys design, designer stuff, that's what they do. So anyways, um, yeah, I uh, that's how I feel about it. And I don't know where I was fucking going with that. I don't know what point I was trying to get across by saying that, oh yes, the brand thing. See, y'all, I'm serious. I need to go to the doctor and get put on like some sort of medication for ADD so I can focus better. I forget things too so much so anyways um I'm not like huge on brands whatever so there is an appliance brand called Amana and all the Amana stuff is so fucking cheap I'm like dude we could get I mean furnish our entire house with appliances I'm talking stove fridge microwave washer dryer all that shit I hate this camera it just overheated. I'm at work. Any, I'm just in the parking lot. I'm not driving with the camera in my face. Um, I'm just like in a big empty parking lot. But anyways, stupid fucking camera. As I was saying, because it's going to just turn around and overheat again. Ooh, I'll put it up against the air conditioning. Nope, I won't do that because then you won't be able to hear me. Um, as I was saying, we could furnish our entire house if we go with the brand Amana for like $3,000. I mean, stove, refrigerator, microwave washer uh dryer all that stuff dishwasher everything for like three fucking grand probably three to four grand if we went with like sorry i know that's loud when i have like fuck with shit on the camera if we went with like whirlpool it'd probably be five or six grand if we went with they, they have maytag whirlpool KitchenAid, and amana if we went with like the mid-range um well whirlpool be probably less than 10 grand we went with a mid-range be five or six grand uh yeah, but I was like so fucking excited. So I'm so excited. So we may or may not furnish our entire house with appliance, brand new appliances. Oh, that would be amazing. After we sat and bitched a bit about them leaving the refrigerator. <laughs> now we're like fucking trying to get it. Am I covering the mic? Oh, was I covering the mic? God damn it. I'll listen to it back. And then if I was covering the mic, I guess we'll repeat it. I'm going to go up into work and get my boxes real quick. Who is here working? I don't see anybody's vehicles. Um, and I will see you guys when I get back. Okay. Got me some boxes. That was really stupid. I probably should have went, um, tonight because we just got a truck in today. I didn't think about it being Thursday. I'll probably go back in tomorrow morning and there will be a shit ton of boxes. So anyway, as I was saying earlier about the appliances, because I'm pretty sure I totally cut myself off. Um, I don't care about the brands. Like, you know, they don't have to be Whirlpool. They don't have to be Maytag. They don't have to be whatever. I don't care. As long as they look nice and they run nice, that's all I care about. So we have a washer and dryer that is the brand Amana, um, which is like a brand. It's like a lower end brand, but... Dude, when I fucking tell you, like, we've had this washer and dryer, um, when did we get this set? I'm pretty sure we got this set, like, when Aiden was a baby. Like, it's, like, 10 years old, our washer and dryer are. So, because we always, like, bought used sets before. I'm trying to think 
did we get it when we moved? I think we got that washer and dryer set when we moved um, onto the property that we're on now, which has been about eight or nine years ago. Did we have it there? We might have had it when we lived in our trailer. I don't remember, but I know regardless, it's like almost 10 years old, our washer and dryer is. And the funny thing is, is we went to this place called it. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> fuck, 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 It's all good, it's all good. Um, we went to this place called, uh, ABC Warehouse, which ABC Warehouse is basically like, if you know what H.H. Greg is, it's got like discount appliances, electronics, whatever. So we went to this place called ABC Warehouse and we got our uh, washer and dryer. And the funny thing is, is we bought them on a discount because I think it was, might have been the washer or the dryer, one of the two, or maybe even both. Maybe it was both. We got them on discount because they were like scratch and dent, but they were um, dented on the sides. So we were like, well, nobody's going to fucking see it anyways because they're, you know, going to be side by side together. Who cares? So we got them for like 200 bucks, right? A piece. Um, and they delivered them because it's washer and dryer. You got to have them fucking delivered. So they delivered the washer and dryer. They get there and we're like, um, we were supposed to get like the floor models. And the dude was like, oh yeah, about that. So my boss after he had sold you guys the floor models he forgot that he sold you the floor models and sold them to somebody else who took them that day so we got all brand new ones because he fucked up so we got like a four or five hundred dollar uh washer and dryer for like 200 bucks we were super stoked about it so um yeah, we were excited about that. Oh, uh, BRB, I hear, I feel my phone's buzzing. That's probably beeps. Yes, it is. BRB. Hello, I am back. I went into Myers already. I just went ahead, went in. I just went ahead, went in. Tim called me. He said, well, I call him to see how his day was going. He said, not the greatest, but now it's better. So he talked to, he called, um, or he talked to the mortgage guy or whatever, and he is still waiting he was like hey i guess i'm still waiting to get this paper yep just pull right out in front of me thanks um he's like i'm still waiting to get this paper from your accountant of the breakdown of like your guys' profits and whatever else so tim calls his accountant and his accountant's like he's got like something going on he's like yeah i got this big meeting coming up and yeah 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 i'm trying to prepare for it whatever else and uh, he's like, oh, did you get those papers sent over? And he's like, well, we haven't got to it yet. So Tim's like, so I gave him like the slow pause, you know? You know what the slow pause is when somebody tells you something that you don't want to hear and you pause a good five to 10 seconds before replying to him. So he's like, so I gave him the slow pause and I was like, well, when you can get to it, that would be great. So we sent it right over. <laughs> so we went ahead and sent it over. And then our um, mortgage guy was like, yeah, I was just wondering like how you're gonna pay, um, you know, all your uh, down payment and what's it, what's that called? The, um, oh, what's that called? Closing costs and all that. Because I'm looking at your bank account and it says you have $1,900 in your bank account. And Tim's like, um, excuse me? <laughs> no. <laughs> He's like, that's just our checking. We don't keep money in our checking. We keep all of our money in our savings and then transfer money to the checking like week by week, like on a week by week basis. Because the savings account, um, a cures, a cures, is that what it's called? A cures? Years. A cruise. Jesus. Get with it, fucking bitch. Go back to school. <laughs> because the savings account accrues interest and the checking account doesn't. So we keep all of our money in our savings. And he's like, um, <laughs> you look in the wrong account, homie. Because there is ten times that amount in the fucking savings account. So he's like, oh, yeah, okay. Could you send that over? And Tim's like, hold on, railroad. Oh, I know that one was a heavy one. Tim's like, um, you already have that? That's why you were questioning me about the deposit from <laughs> the inheritance. He's like, oh yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> so he says, you know, the mortgage broker said 
he's still pretty confident. We have nothing to worry about that, you know, the underwriters already looked it over and they're good with it. So we just need that letter from the accountant explaining. Um, it's just basically what it is, is they do the way that the accountant sets their business up is really, I don't know, I guess it's like very different. Uh, as opposed to what they're used to seeing so the accountant has to explain why they do it that way and um, why it may seem you know that there's loss there but there's really not there's profit because of this this and this whatever oh you just don't you fucking dare bitch don't you dare she's about to just pull out right in front of me cause an accident right here and there freaking yeah no there was a truck in her way she couldn't see but that's why I always, whenever, because we live out in the country, obviously, um, especially when the corn is up, I always, like, if there's nobody on the other side of the road, I'll veer to the middle of the road, or I always slow down when I come up to, like, a cross if there's a cornfield there, because the cornfields, I think it should be illegal for them to butt the corn right up to the road, because you can't see around the corn. This is, like, really detrimental. <laughs> this is, like, some serious fucking life-threatening shit here I'm talking about you guys um this this is my life this is the fucking shit that I deal with as a midwestern bitch so anyways um you can't see around the corn and there have been so many wrecks so there's this like cross go down our road the, the road my house is on and then you turn left and then there's this road it's kind of curvy a little bit but it's got all these cornfields and it's got all these intersections so this one intersection has corn on either side of it. So it's like corn coming this way, corn coming this way on both sides of the road. So like when a car pulls up, they can't see um, immediately if there's another car coming. So they tend to like pull up more and sometimes they'll pull up to the stop sign and not only can they not see if a car's coming, excuse me, but they can only see so far down the road because of the corn, right? So they might like peek out, be all the way back, and corn's right here, and they might peek out a little bit, not see nothing coming and go. There have been so many times when people have got hit there. The one time I was driving, I don't know if I told the story or not, but I was going into town one day and this uh, fucking semi, it was at this very intersection that I was just talking about where there's wrecks at all the time. This fucking semi, so I'm coming down the road, I'm doing like 55, 60 miles an hour. I see in the distance this semi sitting at the stop sign. I don't slow down because I thought, he's not dumb enough to like try and make that, right? I think there's no fucking way that this semi driver is that fucking stupid. Hold on, I'm getting my mail. There's no way that this semi driver is that fucking stupid to try and make that intersection while I'm coming down the road at like fucking 55, 60 miles an hour, right? Oh, was I fucking mistaken. <laughs> so he pulls out, not only does he pull out and try to make it, but he pulls out and try to make it as slow as possible. Cause I don't know if you're familiar with semis, but they have to shift like four gears when they're taking off. So it, they can go, they can't go very fast. Like a semi can't fly across the road because they have to shift up gears really fast. And not only that, it was a gas truck. So I'm like, no fucking way did this motherfucker just do that. I obviously am going like 55, 60 miles an hour. I slam on my fucking brakes. And even still, like I slam on my brakes, but I don't slam them so hard that I go skidding. I didn't want to skid because I didn't want to get out of control. I veer off into the people's yard that is like lives at the crosswalk, totally fucked their yard up, flipping the fuck out. Oh my God, I was flipping out. I'm like, this motherfucker. And he sits there and he's like looking back, looking back. And of course I'm screaming out my truck. Yes, you stupid fuck, I almost had you. Blah, 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 blah. That is what happened to me at that very intersection that I was telling you about. It was scary. So, anyways, <laughs> I told you that one's scary. And I've seen I've seen multiple wrecks. Remember, we just uh, did I say that in a vlog or maybe like on a video or something? This guy wrecked on a motorcycle in the same fucking intersection. So it's classy, classy, y'all. It's classy. So anyways, uh, I'm back home now. I'm going to go in and hang out with uh, Tim for a little bit before he has to go back in and 
Dizzle Fine Thing. Um, and I will probably peep up with you guys later. With so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being Snoop D O Double G, but I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass shit like every single day. Mate, ooh, with so much drama in the beauty community, it's kind of hard being Manny. Manny, Gabriel, and Nikita D. Ha <laughs> I got it. We shot, bro. Hi. I'm tinting my eyebrows. That's why they look so fucking harsh. Singer. What's up, my people? I'm back home now. Of course, you would already know that. What are you looking for, bud? Trying to reach the Doritos. Sponsored by Doritos. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bro. Anyways, what did, what was I saying? I'm tinting my brows. Um, I have you guys watched all this stuff? I, look, I said I wasn't gonna talk about it, and here I am, fucking talking about it. I just feel like this. So, with all this stuff, this I'm, I'm trying to turn it into a positive. With all this stuff, and it's this is just like a PSA for y'all. I feel like that if you guys don't know what's going on with like Manny and Laura and Nikita and Gabriel, just Google it because there's a bagillion drama channels doing the shit. Um, with all this shit going on, I feel like this. If y'all's friendship is so petty and catty, um, that makes me think, so you got all these people like running around stabbing each other in the back, which is horrible. What? It's just like a gnat or something. Um, you've got all these people, like, stabbing each other in the back, which is, you know, obviously they're not real friends. And I think what it is, is when money gets involved, um, and the same thing happens with just natural friendships, not even online friendships and friendships, like, within that community or within, like, the whole Hollywood thing or whatever. When it comes to money, people tend to get a little competitive with each other. And I think the problem is, is that because of that competitive nature, they have a tendency to kind of step on each other's toes and like climb their way to the top. And from what it seems, it seems like that's what's going on within that friend group. My thing is, is that if that's what's going on just in your personal life with your friend group, if you're that catty and that petty that you would, you know, stab your friend in the back or do whatever it is that was done, how are us as subscribers supposed to trust you when it comes to, you know, like products that you talk about or, and I know it seems like really petty, but that's, it, you know, directly where my mind goes. Like if you're so social climb me, so social climby that you're willing to like stab your friend in the back and, you know, do whatever has been done, then... How am I supposed to trust you when it comes to you telling me that you like this palette or you like this brush and use my fucking code? I promise it's good. Use my code. Like, how, how the fuck am I supposed to trust that after all this has gone down? Like, if you are the type of person that would take a personal friendship and put that personal friendship on the line to get yourself further up there, then who's to say you're not going to lie and do the same thing when it comes to product reviews or, you know, um, them telling you that this or that is, you know, oh, it's, it's really good, buy it, blah, 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 buy it, buy it, buy it, don't forget to use my code when you buy it, though, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, how the fuck are you supposed to trust anybody? It sucks. So, y'all know that Laura and Manny have lost, like, Laura Lee's lost, like, half a million subscribers. Her, you know, I can understand, especially because with the remarks that she made, like, are you fucking serious? Even in 2012, I cannot stand it when beauty gurus make these racist statements and then turn around and say, I was young and I didn't know. You didn't know. The fuck? You didn't know? The fuck are you talking about you didn't know? Like, here's the deal. I grew up in a predominantly white community. And when I say predominantly white, I mean 99.999% white, okay? Um, 
my family was, you know, not that they were like racist to the point where, you know, they like weren't friends with black people or Mexican people or whatever, but I mean, there were like racial slurs thrown around and whatever else up until the point when, um, my sister had a biracial child at 15 and then the whole demeanor oh sorry <laughs> my did i'm like trying to be all serious and my fucking sinks are from my dishwasher um you know up until the point when my sister had a biracial child at 15 the whole demeanor changed now coming from that like growing up in an all-white school all white not predominantly white all white except for one black family and the you know who, who happened to be a good friend of mine not that that's like here nor there but i came up in an all all white school um and not once have i ever fucking posted online oh black people pull up your pants so you it makes it easier to run from cops are you fucking serious are you serious <laughs> And then that bunk ass apology is like, I just thought her apology, this is the problem that I had with the apology. Um, sincere or not, nobody gives a fuck that you're upset. Sorry, but nobody cares that you're the one that's upset. The people upset should be the people that you fucking offended, not you. So get the fuck over yourself and just get off of social media. I think what needs to happen to have a positive outcome in the entire thing. Uh, I think what needs to happen is I think that they all need to take a break from social media, but it's just like they're so self-centered and so self-consumed that it's like they're addicted to being online. You know what I mean? And I get that. I've been there before where, you know, you get addicted to all the attention, but it, it's just like, you just need to be a human. Just be fucking human. You know what I mean? I'm going to stop talking about it because I don't want to put negative juju out there. But it's, I don't know. It's kind of sad because you have all these people who just kind of blindly follow. And they're putting just a horrible message out into the world. But I guess at the end of the day, it also makes them a little bit more human to everybody to see that, you know, they have fights with their friends and this and that and the next, but I think the level of narcissism really needs to be a taken back. So let's not talk about that anymore. Fuck that. It's just negative. Let's talk about positive. We'll fuck about positive things. Let's talk about positive things like the fact that I have one, two, three, four boxes packed up already and we haven't even gotten the answer back from our appraisal yet. I'm just getting ready, ready, ready. Y'all, I'm so ready. I remember, I think I said this in a vlog before where somebody had asked me to, um, oh, you should keep doing vlogs like through September. You should vlog every day in September. Oh my God. I would seriously, like, I probably have an aneurysm because I, there's just so much to do. I thought about, um, taking like a little, like a little break or something like that, like a couple of weeks and just, you know, get everything in order and just pack my house up and move and then ba 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 come back i don't know so i'm gonna have like a makeup room in our other house but the problem is is our other house only has three bedrooms so we it, well we have a basement too but tim's like oh you could do your um beauty room in the basement and or your filming room i don't really call it a beauty room i call it a filming room he said you could do like your filming room in the basement and i'm like but there's no lot in the basement. <laughs> he was like, oh, that's okay, that's okay. You can just use the extra bedroom. Cause I kinda wanna make the extra bedroom into a spare bedroom too. And then also like keep it open as a spare bedroom. So if we ever do have any more kids, we can, you know, throw the other kid in there, throw the other kid in the other bedroom. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I don't think I'm gonna set it up like a beauty room per se. I think I'm just going to set it up like a spare bedroom and then maybe put, you know, like some makeup storage-ish in there and then just do my videos in there like that. 
I don't know I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet or maybe I'll do like some of my videos like in the living room and like different spots in the house I'm so excited because my house is gonna have so much light my house has so much light now like there are no the reason why I we do have a lot of windows in this house there's like a big picture window you know like a sliding door and another window in my living room but the problem is is that our house out here is surrounded by trees so um because it's surrounded by trees it you know doesn't allow any light to come in um and that's how it is for most of the windows in the house and each bedroom only has one window in it so not that the bedrooms in our new house have all the windows or anything but they've got bigger windows and they have east facing windows um then like east west facing windows whereas this house the windows are north south facing so the sun is never really like in the room it's never really super sunny in the room and there's not a bunch of trees around so i'm just excited you guys i can't wait to get in there i just can't wait can't wait to get in and paint and decorate and do things and stuff it's going to be so cool i can't wait i'm so excited about it every day i wake up and say i am so happy and grateful to the bank or I am so happy and grateful now that the bank loaned us money to buy our house. I am so happy and grateful now that I, we have a new house. I am so happy and grateful that we have a house in the neighborhood that we wanted. I am so happy and grateful now that we have a new house near my son's school. I'm so happy and grateful now that we live in town because I'm excited. The only thing I'm worried about is neighbors. We're not used to having neighbors. Like We haven't had neighbors since, Jesus, like before even Aiden was born, so like 13 years ago is the last time I had neighbors, y'all. I mean, I have a neighbor here, but it's not like it is in town where your houses are like real close together. And not that they're like super close together, but they're close enough where like you walk outside, your neighbor walks outside, you see what's up. If I walk outside here, my neighbor walks outside, I may not even notice her, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm super excited. I was like, oh my God, this is what I, this is what I hope and pray for. Like, what if we move to like Wisteria Lane? where everybody has like all these little secrets and there's like murder mysteries on the corner. Wouldn't that be dope? Oh my God, I would be so excited. I'm so excited. I hope it's like housewives or something. I'm so excited to have neighbors. I hope, <coughs> I swallowed my spit. I hope our neighbors are like at least, you know, within a few years of the same age as we are. Hopefully we're not moving into the neighborhood that is like a bunch of old folks know what I'm saying I'm really excited I wonder if the neighbors are all like friends with each other I wonder if they're like the kind of neighbors that like you know John Doe gets a John Deere he gets a John Deere and then Randy across the street's like you got a fucking John Deere I gotta go buy a bigger John Deere I wonder if they're like that is that how neighbors are do you guys have neighbors are you guys like that with your neighbors you're like super competitive and stuff like, my yarn has to look better than Anne's yarn. My yarn has to look better than Sissy's yarn. Sissy? Sissy's basic? No. Okay. So, I better go wash my eyebrows off, huh? Because they're looking pretty fucking strong. So, I'll be our bee. And we done. This is what it looks like when they're done. I know it's not, like, a massive difference, but it's just so much nicer when um, you have them tinted. And I, d I don't, like, go crazy or anything like that with them. It's just a lot nicer. This one, the other day, I was, um, I got a little crazy with tweezers, okay? <laughs> See how this one has so much more hair on the tail than this one does? This, for some reason, this brow, hold on. Probably on 15 or so. This brow has, like, no hair, like, my tail won't grow right there but anyways in case you guys were curious this is what I use uh to tint my brows again at Sally Beauty Supply it's literally like three dollars it's a little thing that comes with let me show you it's a I know my boobs are fucking rocking today aren't they Jesus Christ girls get back in there looks like this it's just a powder it comes with like this little thing that's and there's powder in there and you just mix the powder in here I literally mix the smallest amount and I make like a paste you're supposed to put the whole like a quarter of a bottle a half of a bottle or the whole bottle and like mix the entire thing with water 
but because I just use it to tint my brows, I just do like a capful of powder and then I do like a capful of water and I make like a paste with it. So that's what I use to tint my brows. And the reason why I use this is because I was at Sally's the one day and they used to carry it. They don't carry it at my Sally's anymore, so I don't know if it's like all Sally's or what. I had asked her if they had like a lash and a brow tinting gel and she's like oh yeah right over there it was 36 fucking dollars they don't carry it anymore at my sally so i don't know if they would at yours but instead of paying 36 dollars for that i'll pay three dollars for this then it works just as good so uh i think i am gonna cut the vlog off for tonight y'all hope you guys had a happy wednesday i gotta cook my supper we are having ahi tuna steaks um, I like ahi tuna rare, so we're having ahi tuna and zucchini zoodles with a balsamic vinaigrette glaze. Doesn't that sound delicious? Sounds like I'm a professional ass cook ass bitch, doesn't it? But I'm not. I just slap shit together. So yeah, that's it. That's I, I I'm gonna go. You guys, I am really obsessed with that Black Tapes podcast. You guys should listen to it. It's actually really really good. It's like so mysterious and stuff it's real good so i'm gonna listen to my black tapes uh and um ooh, castle rock is on tonight bang bang i'm so excited uh i'm gonna listen to my black tapes and cook my subs and then just chill out probably uh watch some castle rock with beeps and then upload this video so happy wednesday or wait today's thursday today's thursday jeez we're in poor grandma. <laughs> so happy Thursday, not Wednesday, because today's Thursday. Um, and I will catch up with you guys on Friday. Peace, love, and chicken grease, girl.